This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2002 Ford F-250 Crew Cab, 7.3 liter turbo diesel. It's a two-wheel drive. It was a Lariat, uh, but really it's an XLT now because we have cloth seats in it. They had stolen the rear seat and we couldn't find uh, a good rear seat for it in time, so we made it into a uh, cloth. Same color, tan, but now it's cloth. Um, it's on a clear title, 145,000 miles. Uh, the ball joints were completely wasted in it, so it has brand new front ball joints. Obviously front, uh, why did I say that? <laughs> brand new ball joints and uh, front brakes. Um, beautiful truck, runs great. I'm going to walk around, I'll show you the cosmetic things that are, are an issue with it. Um, like I said, it's on a clear title, which is kind of unusual. They were fairly proud of it at the insurance company. Normally they throw everything under the bus with a salvage title. So they probably paid a ton out and they're trying to get some of it back. Tires, driver front tire looks like it's about 20% tread. I see a couple little dings here, little tiny dings on that fender. Some fading on the uh, on that plastic. Actually, you could probably just take some black spray paint to this black 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 plastic and clean it up. There's the plug for the block heater. look a lot better with about ten dollars of that rubberized uh, spray on that uh, balance Let's see. Let's see a little scratch right here very light rock chip there it's a good looking rig of course, it's a 7.3, so it runs like a champion. Right here. The passenger, uh, the front tire looks like, the both front tires look like they're about 20% tread. And then we got this brand new tire on the uh, passenger rear. I mean, that thing is like really brand new. We didn't do that. So someone liked it enough to spend a little bit of money. Got a Luber tailgate. I think we'd put the Bluebird tailgate on it because it was stolen. That's why that was there. It doesn't have a fifth wheel hitch, so there'd be no reason to have it unless it was stolen. So we bought that. So that's brand new from us too. There's a spare, but that's not a brand new spare. It's pretty low on tread. Boy, it's a good looking truck. Got a little scratch here. I, th I would buy a $9 tube of touch up paint and $10 bottle of that black rubberized coating stuff for the front balance and call it a day. This tire, driver tire, rear tire looks like it's probably 50% tread. See the rock chip here, the chip there. Boy, and something right there. Really minor stuff. People have been asking us to uh, when we do our videos to uh, open the hood with the, view, with the truck running. So we'll do that right now. missing the little 7.3 cover that goes right here. So for some reason they always steal those. All the stickers are where they belong. One new battery, that's an original battery. Let's look at the roof real quick, make sure there's no surprises up there. Nothing going on there. Like I said, there was no rear seat, so we ended up getting cloth seats for it. 
you can see with the wood grain and the emblems on it are lariat. So it used to be a lariat, but we had to do this because we just could not find a good back seat. All the back seats we found were just torn up. Make sure it works. Driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window. All right, let's see. Door locks. I see that one moving. It's not, I don't know if it's going up or down or not. We'll double check that passenger front door lock, make sure it's functioning correctly. I see movement in it, but I'm not sure if it's locking and unlocking. There's your mirror out. Hmm. All right. Might need a switch. That's not, it goes out but not in. It goes down and up, but not in. Let's switch to the other side and see what's happening. In, but not out. Yeah, that tells me that this switch is bad, not the mirrors. This is a cheap switch. It's like a $30 switch. Because it'll go up down but it won't go out and this one won't go in so it's this part that it doesn't do on either mirror all right a little bit of wear there on the seat tilt that goes up and down that works fine let's see all right well, it's kind of chilly out there Anyway, we're going to look into that passenger door lock, make sure that it's working. And see if we can find a switch for that mirror. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing either one will get done, but you're welcome to ask us about them and see what we can do. Um, the mirror switches are cheap. I mean, I know that's not a big deal. The actuators are expensive, so hopefully they work. I'm not going to say we're going to fix the actuators for sure. Um, <laughs> There's a radio, cassette, CD player. You can see if the air blows. And it does blow. Let's put it on cold. Make sure it blows on cold. Definitely. You can definitely feel the change in temperature there. Let's put it on heater now. works that was quick works good too here's your seat there's a little bit of it's interesting how that Ford fabric with your naked eye you don't see that and you look through the camera and you can it's interesting you can see it with your naked eye but not like that there's a little tiny thing there this is just a great tow vehicle if you don't want to spend you know fifty seven thousand dollars at your local dealer on a motor that's going to blow up at 30,000 miles, this is probably a good uh, option. There's overdrive off and on. It has cruise. It has a little, I don't want to take that off because maybe it needs it. Yeah, there's a little bit of wear on that steering wheel. All right, as you can see, 145,210 miles. Let's go for a ride. And the shift indicator needs to be tightened. <laughs> look, at, look at it moving. <laughs> God, is that every Ford in the world has that linkage deal? That's so weird. That we, we're gonna handle. Uh, that's annoying. We'll we'll definitely do that. That I promise. Um, that is unacceptable. Uh, anyway, if you're gonna come to Tucson to uh, drive this thing home, um, then you're gonna pay tax, dock fee uh, before you go. Um, tax is two percent city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is, say, 5%, you're gonna pay a total of 7% tax and a $250 dock fee. If you're lucky to be from Alaska, they have 0% state tax rate, so you're just gonna pay a 2% tax plus $250 dock fee. Arizona residents, uh, our state tax rate is 7.1, so you're gonna pay a total of 9.1% tax and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price. Let's jump on it here. Outstanding. Well, I think it runs great. Really, really good. Um, 
I think that's all you need to know. Um, I'll turn it around here and do a little zero to 50 or 60 without trying to get a ticket here. So you can see it shift and stuff from zero. You have the overhead cluster. That's rare. Those things never work. They sell these little displays on eBay for like $29. That's how bad they are. But they sell them that cheap. <laughs> all right, here we go. Great. Uh, excellent running truck. Uh, please uh, make sure you get your deposit if we have agreed upon the uh, price. If we agree upon a price, make sure you get your uh, deposit. Without a deposit, we don't have a deal. Um, we will sell it to somebody who brings in money, even if we haven't agreed upon pricing with you. So please make sure you get your deposit in. You'll see a little banner show up that says deposit with your name on it, and it'll say, you know, thank you, Jerry, thank you, Bill, thank you, Mary, whatever it is. Um, and it's very wise to do that. So please make sure that gets done so you don't uh, get upset. All right, thank you very much and have a great week.